Oh, hello. This is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I have been using this Cuisine 14 inch stainless steel wok for quite some time. However, recently somebody asked me about this stainless steel wok, which is excellent in terms of its price and it also comes with a wok spatula. Uh, this wok also comes with a very nice stainless steel dome cover. In this video, I'm going to review this wok by frying some egg as well as uh, make an egg omelette in it. Uh, this wok is sold under the brand name Willow and Everett. It is a free ply construction with stainless steel in the middle and aluminum to core. It is a 13 inch wok and it comes in a very nice bag. It provides the wok excellent uh, protection. Uh, inside the bag, there is a uh, stainless steel wok spatula. It is not the best wok spatula, but it is not bad at all. Uh, the wok comes with a stainless steel metal dome cover. Uh, for the price, this wok is excellent. At the bottom surface of this wok is quite different from other type of wok because it is continuous rather than has a, a rub brick. Actually, it is shaped more like a bowl. I, I kind of like it because I think it might make stirring easier. And it comes with a long and a short handle. Are they both cool to touch? I'm going to wash the wok uh, before I'm going to use it for the first time. Uh, the construction quality of the wok is excellent and it is thickness as it is suggested it has three plies with the aluminum core in the middle. Uh, this wok weighs in at 3 pound 13 ounces and with the dome cover it weighs 5 pound 9 ounces. Uh, my Cusina 14 inch stainless steel wok weighs uh, 3 pounds. Uh, it comes with a glass lid and together it weighs 6 pound 2 ounces. I'm going to season the wok with my spot seasoning method. If you're not familiar with this method, you can take a look at this video. I'm going to fry an egg in it and to see how well it is going to do. Since I'm using the wok for the first time, I suspect that the egg probably will stick to the bottom of the wok, and it did. I have to use the wok spatula to see whether I can detach it or not. After working at it for a little bit, I was able to set the egg free. Uh, this is kind of expected. I probably should have uh, spot seasoned the wok a little bit longer. Uh, that probably would prevent it from sticking. Uh, all in all, the wok performed really well. Some eggs stick to the bottom, but with my wok spatula, I was able to scrape it off readily. Uh, I'm now going to fry the second egg, and I think the second egg would do much better, uh, because frying the first egg will actually help season the wok. Uh, as expected, the second egg uh, did really well. It did not stick to the wok at all. It was able to glide freely across the surface of the wok. Uh, I think the wok passed the seasoning test extremely well, as like most other stainless steel wok will behave. A stainless steel cookware are very easy to clean, and I expect this wok will behave pretty much the same. I start with my wok brush. As you notice that the one part of it where the egg has stuck, uh, I cannot get it off with the wok brush, so I use a, a scrubbing sponge. Uh, this is a 3M scotch Bright scrubbing sponge, and it usually works really well. Just with a little bit of scrubbing, I was able to remove that uh, burnt egg material on the surface of the wok. Uh, so cleaning the wok is really quite easy. I have no problem uh, to get it clean at all. I also cleaned the bottom of the wok. Uh, there are some staining at the bottom, which is quite usual. Okay, now I'm ready to uh, do the second test, which is to cook an egg omelette. Again, I use my spot seasoning method to season the wok, but this time I'm going to season it a little bit longer, which means that I'm going to let the oil smoke a little bit longer than normal, because this will make sure the wok's surface has non-stick property. Uh, I put two eggs into the wok. As you see how the eggs start to bubble, I know that the egg uh, did not stick to the wok at all. And for the purpose of simplicity, I'm just going to add some uh, scallions uh, as the filling for the egg omelette. Uh, the non-stick property of the wok is essential in order to make a good egg omelette. Uh, so far so good, the wok uh, behaved very very well. And because of the nice non-stick property of the wok, I'm able to fold the egg omelette easily. Okay, I think this wok uh, has passed all the tests. Uh, based on my experience so far, I really like this wok. The quality construction is good, 
and I also like the bow shape of uh, the walk. In this case, as you notice, that there are nothing stuck to the bottom of the walk at all. I noticed some scratch mark from my scrubbing sponge, but it is quite common. This is not something that I'm going to worry about at all. Uh, for $53, this walk is an absolute steal. Uh, together, it also comes with the metal dome cover as well as the walk spatula. The Cook Standard Walk is very, very similar to this one, but it costs $20 more, but it's also a worthy consideration. If you'd like to have a lighter stainless steel wok, I would suggest you to consider the Cusina 14-inch. From the functional standpoint, all three of them work equally well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.